everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies, this is Rainvas. So, in the last video I have explained how to create multi dimensional arrays, how to read elements and how to process the elements of multi dimensional arrays of NumPy module. Now, in this video I am going to explain how to reshape the array, so which is created using the functionality of a NumPy. So, generally first how we are creating that array from the list we can construct and first we are collecting an empty array with any dimension and we can read the elements. First of all in this code I am constructing one array, we are importing the module is a numpy module, in the numpy module I am using array, so nothing but I just want to construct from the list only directly. So, first we are taking one list, so my list with some elements, for example, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 we are taking like this, 10, 20, 30, 40 and here it is a suppose is 60 we are taking, 60 or here it is a more if you want to take like a 70, 80 also we are taking, 70, 80. So, total 8 elements we are taking, 8 elements here, is so whenever we are passing that my list, my list as an input, that list and here it is a array will be constructed, is a numpy array will be constructed and we can display that array also. This is one dimensional array with a size is a 8, here it is array is a, we are printing that array, array and you can display what is the size what is the size we can display. So, that is simply using a property called size. When we execute this one, here it is, here it is from the command line, I have saved this source file on my desktop, python, the source file name I have given like practice.py. So, that it will be converted, it will be converted into array and it is printing all the elements, size is 8. Now, I just want to sh change the shape of this array is a one dimension clearly here whenever I am using that dimensions also print dimensions how many dimensions here it is only one dimension array dot n dimension is a dynamic variable is used to display. So, when we execute that the dimension also it is giving it is like one dimension. Now, whenever I am using the function called reshape array dot here using numpy, we are constructing the array object already called arr array dot we are using that reshape and here just we are giving that giving that 4, 4 comma 4 if I give directly it is like a 4 rows and 4 columns, chance is not there. Here it is a, so whenever we are writing 2 rows and 3 columns, so 2 into 3 is nothing but 6. So, first I am taking 6 elements, errors I will show you later, 6 elements. Here it is for example, 2 rows and 3 columns we are giving like this. So, then the result we are collecting into array, just result and we are printing that result. After that the same story whenever we are checking the dimensions, size is the same size only, it is like a 6 now, 6 and whenever we are checking the dimensions, what is that result dot dimension, not array, this is that new array, resultant array dot dimension. When we execute this, look at this, initially these are the 6 elements and it is a one dimensional array, is a one dimensional array. Next whenever we are converting into two dimension like a two rows and three columns, see here it is in the first row three elements it will check and in the second row three elements it is checking, two rows and three I mean two rows and three columns and look at the dimensions are two dimension. And suppose is a 3 rows and 2 columns, yes that is also allowed, 3 rows and 2 columns because 3 into 2, 6, already 6 elements are present, 6 elements. So, the same thing whenever we are executing, 
now it will display like this look at this three rows and two columns here it is the dimensions are two dimensions only so for example i just want to make it three dimension minimum two into two into two suppose if i give three dimension means what eight elements here it is a 10 20 30 40 50 60 now we add 70 80 total eight elements are there and here it is a initially we are giving that size is a 8 and dimension is 1 now we are giving like this 2 comma 2 comma 2 already in the in the last video we have discussed here it is a first 2 memory allocation like this and next 2 by 2 memory will be allocated total 8 elements total 8 elements it is a 2 by 2 and it is also 2 by 2 and the first one is connecting from here second one is connecting from here so eight elements will store here eight elements so first four will store into this first one and the second four will store into that second one this is the dimension so here sufficient elements are present that is why whenever we are printing the result here it is printing in that way the first one is what 10 20 30 40 second one is a 50 60 70 80 and here total how many dimensions now three dimensions so we can reshape the array by giving that shape nothing but how many dimensions are present and in each dimension how many number of rows and how many number of columns that you have to specify here after this here whenever insufficient elements are present whenever insufficient elements are present then whenever while executing this one whenever we execute you will get that error the total shape of new array must be unchanged if it is a sufficient elements the size should be equal for both so we are checking if size is equal so then only we can perform this operation if size is not equal so directly it will raise that exception value error that is impossible to convert so this is how to reshape that array into n dimensional array so hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narish it channel thank you